Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss accessing slices from data frame. What is slices? Consider this is your data frame. A data frame is a table-like structure. So there will have some columns and some rows. You can access a particular part of your data frame. Consider this blue part. I can access this blue part. So this is called a slice. You can cut the data frame and find the part of the data frame using two things, LOC and ILOC. LOC uses column names and index names. Consider this data frame is having A, B, C column names and 0, 1, 2 and 3 indexes. These places will take rows and these places will take columns. So in case of LOC, it will take row name and column name. And in case of ILOC, it will take positions. This will have positions also. You can see in my case, indexes is having only positions. It will it is not having any name. So LOC will use positions in place of names. If names are not assigned. If name is assigned, then LOC will use names. ILOC, in both the cases, whether the name is assigned or not, it will use only positions. So let us see some example to understand what is LOC and ILOC. So we will take this example of data frame. Consider this example. It is having some names for columns and some name for indexes. Also, it is having some data. I have given some positions for indexes and columns. If the name is given, Python internally maintains its positions. So in case of LOC, I will use column names and row names. And in case of ILOC, I will use positions. So let us see some examples. Consider this first example where I am using LOC. So in case of LOC, I am using names. So in the first place, there is starting row name and end row name. Since there is colon here that means start from B and go up to end and in this column place it is start from starting position and go up to age so in case I am using names of columns and index then it will take both the ends So it will take B and H. So let us see what will be the output. It is starting from B. Consider this data frame. It is starting from B up to end. So this is the end. Then in columns, it is starting from start position, that is name, and going up to H. You can see, so, the, so my output will be this, highlighted data. Obviously, it will have these names of columns and these names of rows. Let us see second example. Here I am using ILOC. So in case of ILOC, indexes and columns are given in the form of positions. So it is starting from 1, going up to end, and in the columns it is starting from start position and going up to 2. So if I am using indexes, positions, and column positions, then it will take one less than of the end position. 
if i am using 2 it will go up to 1 let us see what will be the output so it is starting from 1 this is my 1 it is starting from 1 and going up to end so it will go up to end if nothing is mentioned after colon that means going up to end also if nothing is mentioned at the starting and just colon then it will start from beginning and going up to 2 in the column position so it will take 1 less than the end position so it will take up to 1 so this will be my data so you can see these both the cases are same if you match it with the previous output these both will be same now let us discuss some other examples the sixth line number example so we can access particular rows so the first thing which LOC or ILOC required is rows starting and end and comma columns starting or end so if I provide only row only one parameter as you can see in line number six example the columns will be by default all columns so see the sixth example in this case I am giving the C number and E number rows so in this case if I want a particular row then I have to provide them in the form of list you can see I am providing in the form of list so it will take C and E rows out these are the C and E rows and in the place of colon, col columns there is nothing that means all the columns so it will print this two rows let's see the seventh example the sixth and seventh both are same as I told you if nothing is mentioned in the column place it will take all the columns so we can mention only colon that means start from the beginning and going up to end so sixth and seventh will give the same output now see this eighth and the ninth number row here it is taking two and fourth position since i is mentioned we will give positions so it is taking second and fourth row what it is same C and E it is on second and fourth number then in the place of column nothing is mentioned that means all the columns so it will print same thing now see the ninth number row we are giving rows and columns particular rows in the form of list and in place of columns all the columns so it will print same thing as line number 8 so you can see there are four different ways for the same output now let us take examples from line number 12 what it is for printing particular row and column accessing particular rows and columns so let us take the example of line number 13 so at line number 13 it is saying take the rows of C and E so I will take C and E since we are using LOC so I am giving row and column names row name and column name and when I will use ILOC I will give index positions and column positions fine so it is saying me take C and E so I have taken C and E now it is saying that take the age 
I will take only eight. So it will print these two things which I have dashed, which I am making design. It will take those values only and it will print those values. Now let us see the 14th number example. It is taking second and fourth position. Again, this second and fourth, if I say the positions, so it will again C and E. Then the first column. What is first column? Again, is it will take these positions only. So again, the same output will come. So these 13th and 14th number are giving same output. I hope you have understood the LOC and ILOC concept. So LOC will take column and index names and ILOC will take index and column positions. That is it for this lecture. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can ask in comments. Thank you.